Hello everyone, welcome to another video and this time we are talking about custom packages, so very specific topic. I did talk about this topic in, I don't know, two or three different videos uh, where basically I did include custom packages with uh, other problems to explain like when you are new to Dynamo and you just want to download some script and to run it will usually not work because you did not install custom packages and in recent time I did receive a lot of emails basically with the same question I did download your script and I did run your script but it doesn't work so it seems like that those previous videos was created like one or two years ago and there are like 100 or 110 different videos in my YouTube channel so I can understand that um, new users did not saw all my videos so very specific topic uh, in this video and let's try to see uh, why those custom packages uh, are the problems and how to solve them but before we uh, jump to Dynamo to show you how to install custom packages let's just see for example over here on my website for some script you can see uh, when you click on the description for that script uh, you can see usually I will write some uh, small description about the script and you have of course a video uh, but below over here you can also see which packages I did use in order to create this script so in order to uh, use this script you will need to install those packages on your computer and with custom packages, if for example for this script you did install Clockwork, uh, then you are using some other script and that other script also use Clockwork custom package. You do not need to install that every time. When you install uh, some custom package once, that is it. You can use it for all scripts. So like a first question, where you can find the information which packages I did use for some script, you can you can go over here to shop and over here you have a list of all uh, scripts that I did create or you can also now uh, go to the blog also over here you can find scripts that I did create you can use the search button to search for some script uh, also what is very important for example that cut wall script uh, it is very important that you check uh, that uh, maybe on this list uh, you maybe have some new version for that same script uh, because sometimes I will create a script then some people will uh, contact me and tell me okay Nana but you have an issue with this script can you solve it and when that happen then usually I do resolve that issue and also include some new features so for example this is like original script but also over here you can see that we also have new version of that script it is generally idea to check for that script that you want to use if we also have a new version on this list and then you can use the new version so over here you can see that we are using genius locky package for example and you will have more features with this script so just check if you have already a new version um, on the site uh, also one way to find the packages is to go to some script and search for the uh, package list also uh, you can find information uh, regarding uh, the list of packages that you need to install in the YouTube video in the description of each video if for some video you do not see the list of custom packages that just mean that for that specific uh, script I didn't use any custom packages and also what is very very important for me and I think also for you is that you know that I did create this video you have it on my YouTube channel I strongly recommend that you spare those 20 minutes uh, and to watch this video if you are new with Dynamo uh, I know that those 20 minutes uh, looks a lot but believe me it took me months and years to learn about the problems that I show in this video and if you are new with Dynamo you will learn a lot from this video trust me so uh, the issue with the custom packages is just one of those 
baby steps issues that you will have with the dynamo so in order to avoid uh, having a problems with the other issues that are also very easily resolvable uh, please take a look uh, at this video so now uh, also in that video that I just mentioned I did show how to install packages for the Revit 2020 I think now I want to show you how to install packages in this Revit 24 uh, because I hope that uh, I can use this video for another year or two when somebody asks me so Revit 24 should be valid for some future time so uh, I will again use this same script so walls versus linked structure to show uh, what you need to do in order to install those custom packages and the first message that I have over here is uh, Dynamo is not sure if this script is safe uh, I did uh, download this script on my PC and I know uh, that uh, location where I did store that script is safe so I would go over here yes and I can also say that this is a trust location also for the future uh, so if you are using Revit 24 and with this Revit 2024 you will have uh, Dynamo 2.19.3 in this case uh, so in this version of Dynamo uh, if you have any problems with the nodes uh, you will have red and yellow uh, warnings red color over the nodes means that you have some custom nodes and that Dynamo does not have like the definition of those nodes so in order to resolve those issues you will need to install those custom packages uh, also previously in previous version of Revit and Dynamo you didn't have this information which custom packages you need to install in order to resolve uh, those issues with um, nodes uh, with this uh, let's say latest version of uh, Dynamo and Revit you also have information over here which packages you need to install if you have some old version of Revit then you can use the site or YouTube video so okay now we have two paths how we can resolve uh, this issue so let's just talk for a moment why do we have uh, those custom packages so when you install Revit uh, Revit will come with uh, Dynamo and when you open Dynamo for the first time over here you will have some library in that library you have uh, Dynamo native nodes so if you insert some nodes from this library you will not have a problem with those nodes because those nodes are like native nodes that come with Dynamo and the Dynamo team is doing a very good thing so with each Revit update Dynamo team will also include some new nodes in Dynamo so if you take a look uh, what we did have like a list of nodes from Revit 2019 and what we have now uh, so we have a lot of new nodes custom packages exist because developers did uh, enhance some possibilities with those nodes and Dynamo native library does not have yet those functionalities so that is why we are using uh, custom packages uh, in order to install custom packages you do not need administration permission basically you're just copy and pasting some files from the internet and now I will show you two ways how you can install those custom packages uh, one way to install packages is to go over here on the packages and to click on the search for a package it takes some time for Dynamo to connect with the server so now for example if you want to install clockwork you just need to start typing clock and over here you will you will see the list of packages with that name so we want to install clockwork for dynamo uh, 2.x and you need to click over here on install are you sure yes we are sure okay it will take some seconds and when it's finished we will see over here that we did install this package uh, in the same manner you can also install those additional uh, packages but like the other way to do the exactly the same thing is to just go over here click on the package that you need to install and then over here you will see this button install specific version 
you will need to confirm again OK. And now we have some dependencies. It is OK. OK. Let's also install this package. And now this is not, actually it is a package, but uh, like the issue with, with uh, this Iron Python 2.7 is that at some point, uh, at some point in Dynamo, we did have like addition to existing features. Uh, instead of using just Iron Python 2.7, in Dynamo, we could also use C Python. So, for some versions, you could choose if you want to use Iron Python 2.7 or C Python 3. Uh, but now, in this, like the latest version of uh, Revit and Dynamo, uh, by default, you can only use uh, C Python. So, uh, then you have an issue that all those, let's say, old custom nodes are created uh, mostly in Iron Python 2.7. So, when you did install those um, custom packages, uh, Dynamo did recognize that those custom packages and those nodes using this old uh, Python engine. And that is why over here you also have a message that you should install Iron Python 2.7. So, we need to install also this package. And OK, now we did resolve all issues with the packages. So, now nodes are not anymore in the red color. Uh, over here, this yellow uh, node uh, is in the state of warning, it's not an error, and it means that you need to select some elements. So, uh, like the first step, if you're running Dynamo for the first time, is to check if you need to install some custom packages and to install them. Uh, then, over here, you can see now those installed uh, packages, and again, if you need to use the same packages for some another script and you know that you did already install clockwork you don't need to install it again uh, but if you have some custom packages there are again new requirement like for example that the genius locky then you will need either to go package search for a package or you will have information that you are missing that package and you can click install and dynamo will install that package for you for all other issues, why maybe the script doesn't work, please again, before you send me an email that you did install custom packages and the script doesn't work, please uh, take some time, uh, watch this video and then uh, probably in the 99% of cases you will also see uh, what else you need to do in order to uh, have your script working on your side. Thank you for watching. Bye.